Hi guys, Frugal Gal here with this huge box of jewelry I got from Shop Goodwill online. And it came from the Goodwill store in North Central Wisconsin, which is the store that I try to order from the most because I've had the most, uh, I don't want to say luck, I don't like the word luck. I always try to come up with another word. I've had, got the best jewelry from them. So what I did was I actually won two, this is the first time that I won two auctions pretty much at the same time. They were about an hour, maybe about half an hour to hour apart, but anyway. Um, so if you do that and you um, win two auctions from the same Goodwill store on Shop Goodwill, you can combine them and save a ton of money on shipping. So I got these. I was the only person who bid on these. One of them is 10 pounds of assorted jewelry and one is 5 pounds of better wearable jewelry. So 15 pounds of jewelry and the combined shipping was really reasonable so um, I'm definitely going to make money off this even before I open it um, for sure so I'm hoping they put it in two bags um, and they did so one would be the five pound bag which looks like that one is the five pound bag which is the one I think I'm gonna work on first yeah and that would be the ten pound bag so let's get this out of the way Ooh, this is hard this is hard this is hard okay I'm getting stronger though all right so let's, let's weigh this bag, see if it is five pounds. This would be five pounds of better wearable, but usually when I buy the better wearable ones, I do get, just like they say, better wearable jewelry. And look at that. If we go down there and zoom in down there, uh, it is five pounds, 4.7 ounces. So over five pounds of jewelry, great. Let's zoom back out. I can't get this. I don't think it's going to go down anymore. I'm going to trouble my... I want to get used to this truck. Alright. So let's get some of this out. Hopefully we got some signed pieces. I see a bracelet, a clamp for bracelet that I like right away. It's a real pretty, like... That's a peach color almost. It's not pink. It's, uh, not marked. Really good shape though. Gold tone. I like that. What is that print called? I know what that print is called. I can't think of it. Is that the Greek key? That might be Greek key. I don't know. Let's see. I see something on top there. So let's just... Ooh, that's pretty. Whatever that is. But that's beautiful. Look at that. That's a pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, that's pretty. It's almost like a decorated seashell. It doesn't look like it's marked on the bale or anything. All the rhinestones are in it. Ooh, that is so pretty. I like it. I'll put that over there. And it looks like we have like a little key. Alright. There's another, oh! Another bracelet. And it's in the shape of a belt buckle. Let's see, how does this come open? Belt buckle goes up like that. Oh, see, clamper awesome there's no sorry there's no um oh that's cool because you can adjust it see tighter than that and that like a bolt awesome that right through and that's right here feels like leather it's like that is leather that is really neat the combination of the silver tone and the leather i want this silly thing focused Maybe it's my bifocals I'm looking through. Oh, no, it won't focus. Sorry. Another. Put that over there. I'll put the bracelets over here. I got more room. Okay, let's just dump some out. Try to keep these videos. There's going to be a lot of these videos, so um, try to keep these till to be about 10 minutes long. So, let's see what we can do in 10 minutes. So it was fine 10 minutes. We need to stop. Okay, there we go. So we're, there's something in a bag. Oh, it looks like somebody made like a hand of God. Um, little wraparound bracelet. That's cute. I'm just going to leave that in that bag. We're going to put it over on the bracelet. Let's do this. CD says do this. And it will come undone. It probably, look at that bruise I still have from my surgery. I was saving this. I've had this in my house for a week or so. I was saving this till after my surgery and everything. I don't know where to pick up. I see a lot of things I like. A pendant's nice. It's on a 
silver tone chain. It's got a spring clasp. So maybe, and maybe, I think that, no, oh, it's not signed. I was going to say it was signed, but it's not signed. If you want to edit this stuff out, I get it. It's nice. I know I hate that blurring of the jewelry in the background, but. Oh, look, the pendant is a brooch. You know how I like my brooches. So it can be worn as a pendant or a brooch. Doesn't appear to be signed. There's looks like in the center of it. There might be a little like copyright symbol or something. No, that's just a circle. I had to zoom in to see. I don't see a signature. But that's nice. And there's no hang tag or anything. We'll put that over there. Alright. Remember, this is supposed to be all better wearable jewelry. By the way, why I'm doing this video is it's like 3.43 in the morning. And my insomnia is kicking my butt. But I actually got to sleep today. Or yesterday now. Because, um, it caught up with me. Every once in a while it catches up with me. So that's why I know I'll be up all night. Oh, that's got a little knot in it, but that's okay. We'll get that out later. This is an interesting necklace. I didn't get Matilda 2 out. I keep trying to find some bigger Matildas. But at my Walmart here in town, they're out of them. The cardboard ones. So I'm going to have to... I need them longer. So I'm going to have to break down and buy them off Amazon. That's interesting. That's just plastic, but that's really pretty. I like those flowers, how they put them like that. It's on a gold tone chain. Probably about 18 inch. And if you hold it back, you can tell these are a little different colors. These are like a pink, cream pink, and these are like a light blue. We'll put that over there. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of necklaces, which is fine. I seem to have, um, I do well selling necklaces. It seems like the people who come to my auctions here on YouTube um, like necklaces. I like to see other people wear necklaces. I just never wear them. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. So to put a necklace on me, I get it on me. And if it's long, it's like, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off now. This is an interesting bracelet if I can get all this untangled from it. Oh, there you go. It's one of those that, going a little closer, that hooks in here. It's actually wire wrapped. I love wire wrapped. And it's wired around. That's just plastic. I love wire wrapped. It doesn't look like it's sawing on the inside. I have to cover that up back there. So it will focus in. But let's see if it's magnetic. See if it's... Oh, it's not magnetic. So maybe I want to test that for sterling. It's not magnetic at all. Might look it over closer and see if it's got any... I'm going to put this over here. So I can know to test it. It might be sterling. Look at all the jewelry. Okay, I got some cord going on here. You know me and cords. I don't like cords or ribbons, but it does have a. It says cowboy collection dolls. Oh, authentic horse hair. Okay, that grosses me out. I don't know why, but it just does. It's not. It's not a cord. It's authentic horse hair. You tell I'm not a horse person. I say if you can't eat it or you can't work with it, I'm not gonna bother with the horses. Made in Montana, CowboyGifts.com. Alright, somebody will like this, but not me. It's made out of authentic horse hair. No animals were home during the making of this video. Ew, it feels like it too. It feels like, actually it feels like human hair. It looks like human hair. It looks like a little, like, like a little girl's, or like a, ew, it feels, it feels like human hair it does. Like really silky. Ew, ew, ew. They just swap flies. That's kind of gross. I don't know why it's gross. It's not really gross, but it's gross. Here is a charm bracelet that has a ton of butterfly charms on it that somebody's going to love because I know there's a lot of ladies out there who like butterflies. Oh, it's oh, it must have been an ankle bracelet because you can adjust it really a lot bigger. Ooh, and it's closet A. Well, that one is. And that one. What I'm going to call tonight is anything that has the enamel, and then the if the metal goes through the enamel, that's what we call tradition. That's what we call closeting nowadays. Oh, it's just a Claire's bracelet, isn't it? Does it say Claire's?